guys, welcome to Over the Mooney. My name is Katie, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video because I am going to be unboxing my Cricut Air 2, which I am super, super excited about. I've had this thing for a couple of months and I've been very intimidated by it, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open it, and I think I'm going to make a couple small projects, like just some easy first time things. I feel like I see a lot of people who do like their first time, they'll do like stickers for their Cricut so I think that that's what I'm gonna do so that is the plan for today hopefully you guys are down for that I know that you guys enjoy some DIYs so hopefully that's something that you are interested in seeing also I'm filming in front of a different space in my attic I don't know I just wanted to try something new and I like how bright it is back there you can see my Disney Lego castle back there and some of my pin collection back there Ariel's hanging out with us, so every once in a while I might pop over here. So if you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of our little corner of the internet. Like I said, we do a lot of Disney DIYs here, and we do all sorts of di different Disney content, um, as well as Harry Potter, unboxings, hauls, all sorts of fun things. So we'd love to have you join us. And if you are, if you are returning, then hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. And before I do get into this, I do want to give a huge, huge th shout out to my friend Sarah, who actually gifted this to me. She had won it in a giveaway and did not want it and reached out, reached out to me and asked if I wanted it. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, because uh, Cricut has kind of been something that's been on my radar. I've had a lot of people tell me that I should get one, that I could do a lot of cool stuff with it. If I like crafting, I probably would like having one. And I just couldn't justify the cost of it because they're not cheap cheap so I just never went ahead and got one and then Sarah reached out to me and asked if I wanted one and of course I said yes because so exciting <laughs> I love crafting things so that is what we're doing today I'm hoping to do a couple crafts with you guys on the Cricut that's the plan for this and God willing all goes well we shall see um, but yeah so let's just go ahead and get it open. So we are going to go ahead and open this. So as you can see, it does say that there is bundle components inside so that they know that there is stuff coming in uh, that should not be separated out. I'm sure that Streaky is going to be all sorts of involved in this, so I apologize in advance. So I'm going to go ahead and lift it open. The first thing that I'm seeing here are some Cricut markers. So you are actually able to write with a Cricut, which is really, really cool. And you can load these in like it shows here so that you can like write a message on a card or you can you know do word art and stuff which I think is super cool so we have a green a yellow a blue like a turquoise and then like a reddish mauve kind of color this does say that it is the candy shop pen set and it is the fine point oh point Four. <laughs> we also have this basic toolkit which is great so we have some scissors a tweezers Spatula, <laughs> I think, and then a weeder, and then this is actually used for helping to smooth out vinyl bubbles when you're um, putting it down on your mat or when you are like trying to use some transfer tape just so that you can smooth all of the bubbles out of everything. And then I got some vinyl, which is exciting. A lot of vinyl, actually. So we have eight sheets of Cricut vinyl. We have two sheets of transfer paper, project ideas, designs for vinyl, and then we have have glitter iron on we have more project ideas uh, which is awesome so this is the first one that I'm seeing is this glitter vinyl so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can take some more of these out so that we can see what colors and everything we're looking at because I think that that's kind of the most exciting part is going through and picking all these colors out I mean my gosh look at how pretty that is oh I love it so we have this color and then this is the gold color which is super pretty we have this black uh, I guess it's kind of glittery like a subtle glitter maybe not glitter I don't know and then this red which is oh and we flip these over okay <laughs> we can do that so then we have this red vinyl we have a gold vinyl we have hot pink which is really fun we have this beautiful blue we have purple silver 
which it's a lot more like shiny in person. It's coming off kind of flat. We have white and black. And then this is your transfer tape. We have two sheets of that. And I think this might be the last of the iron-on vinyl. Okay, so I have the actual Cricut out of the box or at least the Cricut box out of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And right off the bat, I do see that we get a mat with it, which is great. So this is the light grip mat. I know that there's a couple different mats that you can get. And then, let's see, we have all sorts of software stuff here. And then we have our actual machine here, which is very exciting. Alrighty, so here is our machine. I'm gonna take off the protective seal and it looks like we got the super pretty mint green. I love this. It's so pretty. <gasps> how, how exciting. I'm so excited to finally be getting into this. I've been watching so many videos to try to learn how to do everything. And so I'm finally excited to try something. And then we also get in the box. So we got a black marker. We have the power cord very important and the USB cable here as well. And that is everything that came inside my Cricut box. So I am going to give a first project a try. So I'm gonna get everything set up on my computer. And then I think from what I've seen, like a lot of first, a lot of projects that people like to do for their first time is to do something that can go like actually on the machine. So I think that that's probably what I'm going to do. Whatever I do end up doing, I'll walk you guys through it and I'll see you on the other side of figuring out how to use this crazy machine. <laughs> so it is the next day. I have two projects loaded up here, ready to go. So the first one is this Disney castle that has this really pretty shooting star over it. And then the other one is a Hogwarts silhouette. So I'm gonna start with the Disney castle and I already have it in design space. I need to measure my Cricut to see how big I can make it because my plan is to just kind of put it like put two stickers on top of the machine. So right now I have it very, very small. It's at just about two inches and I think I can make it bigger. These both of these designs I did get from Auntie Tay who is a fellow YouTuber. She has a bunch of Cricut and Disney stuff. So I will link to her website down below. If you become a member, then you can download her designs and use them for personal use. She also has a business membership. So if you are a business, you can use her designs to sell them. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my Cricut and resize this thing and then we're gonna try to make this. Oh, and I also, I was at Walmart yesterday I picked up this hollow vinyl. So there's three different sheets. There's like a pinkish one, a blue one, and a yellow one. I'm trying to decide which one I want to use for which um, sticker. So have to figure that out too. But <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to go. And then I'll catch back up with you guys in a second. Okay, so I decided to go with the blue for Cinderella Castle. I think that's kind of appropriate. And this blue is so pretty. It's so pretty. So I ended up going about five inches. I'm making the sticker about four and a half, but I just wanted to have a little bit of extra just in case. And then what's really nice is on the back here is that it does have that grid pattern so that it makes it a little bit easier to cut evenly. So I did just cut it straight across. I didn't try to like create the exact size because then I'll just cut off the excess and keep the scraps anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the mat. And then guys, we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing. I'm very excited. So fingers crossed that it comes out well. All right, so she is nice and smoothed out. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and hit power on here. I thought more things were supposed to happen. I thought this was supposed to like, oh, here we go. Open, there we go. Now we're in business. Oh, right, and since this is the first time I'm actually opening this, <laughs> let's take out this little guy here, but then it's nice because you have some compartments down here where you can store stuff, so you can put markers here. Um, you can put any more of the little cut things that you have, you can put those there, so very fancy. So ah, I'm gonna set this to vinyl right away. So you set this up to vinyl. 
And then I'm going to put this in here. And then we're gonna get everything set up on the computer. Streaky is very curious. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fingers crossed get this going. So, ah, so exciting. what they look like together so magical I think on the front portion of this thing like down here I might put my name or channel name or something I'm not sure I was gonna do it up top but I just don't think that there's enough room up there I don't want it to get too busy <laughs> um, but yeah so that's my very first project with my Cricut and I really love how it turned out this is not as scary as it might come off to be it was very very easy to figure out so if you haven't had any sort of trepidation about using this thing don't it's very easy I promise so if I can do it you can do it and I love how everything came out. So I'm excited that I'm using it and you will definitely be seeing it a lot more in some future craft videos. <laughs> All right guys, so that is everything for this video. I'm gonna be honest and say I was very shocked by how not imposing the machine was and the whole process of doing something with a Cricut machine was once you actually opened it and started working with it. I think if you're like mildly technologically savvy, then you'll be able to get this down in no time whatsoever. It's so incredibly easy and very user friendly. I kind of got to a point where I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and no one was really like explaining it well enough for me and my taste and I couldn't understand why and I was getting very frustrated but now I kind of understand and it's really because it's pretty self-explanatory. I think that it's very easy to follow, it's very easy to use. I think probably the more challenging part of it will be to find files and the SVGs that you can use to create your designs but like I said before that Auntie Tay and I, I will leave a link to her shop and her website and everything down below because she provides a lot of really great ones. I've been going through them and like just getting ideas for what I want to do because there's so many of them and I think that they're so fun and so cute. So I already have so many ideas running through my mind of crafts that I want to make, things that I want to make for Christmas gifts already and it is only April, but I'll probably be starting on those soon. <laughs> so I think that, you know, if you you've been holding out and wanting to get one and you haven't yet because you're scared of it, don't be. I think that you'll do just fine. So I hope that you enjoyed my first experience with a Cricut with me. It was super fun and thank you for coming along and thank you for joining me. If you do have a Cricut, let me know what some of your favorite things are to make. If you've made any Disney things, let me know. And if you have any ideas or any Disney ideas that you'd like to see me try to make with a Cricut, then also let me know because I feel like this is gonna be an addiction because yeah, yeah, I mean, it just it just is. <laughs> I've already bought myself more vinyl than I probably need considering that I've only made two things with it so far, but that's okay, it's okay, it's all good. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see with it. I would love to share some stuff. I definitely have some things in mind that I want to make, like I said, so um, what I can share with you, I will, and what I can't share with you, because they are Christmas gifts, I will share some point next year. <laughs> So thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up so that I know to continue to make more DIY videos like this for you. And that's everything that I have for you. So thank you so much for being here and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.